Mono printing is another thing you can do with wax that's really a lot of fun and has a lot of different applications. So let's just take a look at how this is done. First get some wax on your iron. Now we're not going to make a picture on this one. We're just going to do sort of an abstract looking thing on the, on the card. See how we're just going to get a bunch of wax on the card. So just, let's just get a sort of a real messy look right all over this card. And it can actually have voids where there isn't wax, which is just fine with this also. So now take this card and grab another card and put this one on top. And now let's begin to heat the, top, the back of this top card and get the wax warm enough so that it's going to start transferring to the other card. And it's going to be making a print on the other card. So we have to, again, since we can't see what we're doing here, take a peek to see if we're getting the wax transferring. And it looks like it's doing it. So let's take a look here. Okay. So now here we've got two cards, right? With the wax melted and transferred to the other card. So what you can get with this, for instance, is you could do a larger picture like this. That's created the same way with a, a mono print. And you could, with all these white voids in here, take another medium like, oh, again, rubber stamp pad inks or uh, alcohol inks, and perhaps some things called luminart, and paint these surfaces. That, since there's no wax on them, they'll take another medium, and it creates a nice effect. Uh, take the same idea and move it to something like fabric. And here, if you painted a realistic painting, and turned it over on top of some silk, you could transfer the picture right to the silk. And if you wanted to at this point, you could take the silk and get real creative and take some silk dyes and put it on the silk and the silk dyes would cover in any place where there wasn't wax and the wax is acting like a gouda on the silk. And if you also wanted to even embroider flowers in the front with the embroidery thread. You could do things like that. So if you were going to transfer just to fabric, it isn't something that you're going to want to throw in the washing machine as far as wearable art, but the dyes will penetrate the fabric and you could wash this on a very cold water wash, but I wouldn't suggest it a lot for wearable art.